Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining me. This is Karen with Creative Paper Artisan. And this is my take on our design team project for October. Um, using the Autumn Woods kit, um, I have made a an altered window envelope booklet for gifts. And it, it's so cute and so fun. And um, I will show you how I made it. So hang tight. All right, so let's get started. I'm so excited about this one. I saw this done um, and thought I would do my own little version, just a couple of different things, but this is such a fun idea <clears throat> because um, you, can, you can tuck little gifts inside and it's just, I don't know, it's gonna be fun. You're, you're gonna love it, you're gonna love it. So. I've got uh, four envelopes here with the windows. Um, you could have more if you wanted. I think four is probably a good uh, thickness sort of a, a, a thing. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to get them stacked up like this. And they don't have to be the same. <clears throat> I think this one, actually I happen to have these are pretty much the same, identical. <laughs> and this one is not, and that's okay. They do not all need to be the same, but I'm going to line them up here on this edge and then I'm going to, let's see here. <clears throat> I'm going to be clearing my throat a lot still. I'm afraid, unfortunately, still dealing with repercussions of COVID. I might have a little bit of congestion, just a little bit. And I can't hear, so I don't know if I'm talking loud enough or not. <laughs> you may need to adjust your volume. I can't tell. Um, so, okay, and I'm going to kind of eyeball it. Um, let me see if I'll cut all of these. <clears throat> I feel like, I feel like I want it to be, let me, let me turn it this way. Seems like five inches would be about right. Be about right. <clears throat> yeah, about like that. Yeah, well, you know what? Maybe not. Hang on. I'm trying to think here. Um, I think I'm just going to cut it to where the the address line is on this one. That just feels right. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just have to go with what feels right. Okay, I'm just going to do that. Doesn't have to be exact. You can do whatever you want. <clears throat> okay, great. All right, so now <clears throat> What I'm going to do, let me move this guy back out of the way. Um, I've got some of my papers from the Autumn Woods kit. And uh, I just kind of printed out kind of my favorites. Um, and let's see. These are just the papers. I mean, we'll get back to these later here. These are some of the just the actual papers. And we're going to use these on the front of these. So um, let us <clears throat> um, we're going to trace this on and I kind of trying to figure out where where I want. Mm -hmm. I think I'll just kind of trace it here. Well, you know what? Let me, let me, <laughs> let me, I can't, I can't figure this out here. Um, I want it to be about here because I kind I want that purple pump. I really like that purple pumpkin. I'm trying to see how I can get a majority of that to show. I think that will be good there. Okay, so I'm going to turn it like this so that it will be right side up. 
and I'm going to trace around because <clears throat> this is kind of an odd shape. So I think this is the easiest way to get that. And I'm actually leaving, I'm going to leave just a little bit <clears throat> on the edges. And when I cut, I'm going to cut just a little bit, a little bit over so that I have a little bit of wiggle room when I glue things down. And then I can always trim it, trim it off later. Okay. <clears throat> so did I do that right? Did I do it right? I did. Okay. So now, um, let me take you to my window <laughs> because what we're going to need to do, <clears throat> we're going to, we're going to hold this up to the light and then trace, uh, trace where the, that window is. And we're going to cut that out. So hang tight. Okay, this is a little hard to do with one hand, but <laughs> you can see the in the light where that window is. So I'm going to go ahead and trace trace around that with my pencil and then um, take it back to my table. Okay, I'm back. So now what I'm going to do is just take my little fancy schmancy exacto knife. And this is really comfortable. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen these before. Um, Friskers, Fiskers, not Friskers, Fiskers makes this. And it really, when you're, when you're working like with some precision that you need to work with, it works really nice. I like it. So anyway, I'm going to cut on my little mat here so I don't ruin my table. It's going to cut around and I'm going to, I'm trying to cut on the inside of the line just a little bit. Um, to avoid maybe, you know, having some of the white of the envelope show if I'm, if I'm not cutting this precisely enough, because it was I, honestly a little hard to get it exactly, um, on the line through the window. <laughs> so, uh, this is a pretty generalized guide here. So I'm just going to... I'm trying to make it a little bit smaller than what I drew. And I'm not sure, honestly, if that's going to actually be what I'm doing. <laughs> if it's, it's going to work as well as I'm hoping it'll work. But it's kind of take your time on it. No rush. And if there's still a white edge showing through, um, there's ways to camouflage that. So... Not too worried about it. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, it's a little wonky, but that's okay. Um, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad, but I'll, I'll be covering that up a little bit, I think. So anyway, so what I need to do <clears throat> is glue this puppy down now. Now I'm just going to use this. Okay, I don't want my, my cutting mat to get sticky. So let me grab, let me grab this and get it all sticky and gooey. <clears throat> Okay, now let me cut off the extra. All right, and let's go ahead and fold 
fold the flap down. Make sure that that's still functioning well because we need that to fold down later on. Okay. It's actually not bad. Not too bad. Okay. <clears throat> now we're going to do um, the back. Kind of the same thing. And for that, I'm going to use um, some of the journal pages that come in the kit. Um, let's see. Sure do like that pumpkin. <clears throat> I think I'll I think I will. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this on the back. All right. So kind of do the same thing again here. Um, all right. We don't we don't need to trace the flap though because we're just we're just gonna make the square. So let me see how I want that laid out. Think about like so. Okay. All right. So let me get this side all goopy. And because just because I can, I'm going to ink the edges to make them look a little bit more finished on both sides. Isn't that a lovely start? That's a lovely start, okay. So now you're wondering, what are we gonna do there? Okay, good question. Um, what we're going to do there is I need to choose. <clears throat> I need to choose something from these papers that will fit. I'm not sure this will be quite wide enough. Oh, maybe. Let me see. Hmm. It's like just barely, barely wide enough, but I think that'll work actually. That'll look pretty nice. So, okay. So, what do we will do? And this is from the kit. This is actually one of the belly bands from the kit. Um, but I think, it, I think it'll work nicely there. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. So, Get that all goopified. Why did I get rid of my scrap paper? I need that back. So I can get to the edges. Okay, so now <clears throat> going to carefully slide it in there. don't want to push it down too too hard yet. I want to make sure I get it right. Let me see. Yeah, okay. That works. That works nicely. Okay. All right, so that's one done. Um, I do want to camouflage this a bit. I'm seeing some pencil marks here. Um, 
what I think I will do is cheesecloth, cheesecloth to the rescue. Um, I think I'm going to do like a little, oh, like kind of roll it. Let's, let me show you. I'm not sure how to explain it, to be honest. I'm going to take it and roll like a little, like a little roll. <laughs> a little roly-poly of cheesecloth, which is not easy to do because it's so thin. But once you get it started, it seems to work okay. I've done this before with smaller pieces and the larger piece here is make, making it a little bit more difficult. But I really like the way it looks. Kind of leave some scraggly hanging off there. So, okay, I'm going to... The top part seems okay. Just the bottom part has a little bit of white showing. I don't care for that. So, that's okay. Where there's a will, there's a way. And then, I think I need a little more here. <clears throat> All right. Uh-huh, I think I like it. I might want to put like a little fussy cut there. Hang on. Let's see. Oh, here's my pile of fussy cuts. I was cutting like a fool yesterday. <laughs> Trying to get a good variety of fussy cuts. Um, let's see. Maybe a leaf. Purple leaf. No, that's too much. Too much purple on the purple pumpkin. How about there, there, and then green leaf. No, let's see. <clears throat> Where did I just? I just saw. Oh, pine cone. Maybe a pine cone. No, I don't like the pine cone either. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll just leave it. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to cook because I like that pumpkin so much. Maybe I'll just leave it. Maybe I'll have... <clears throat> There's a few more fussy cuts that I did not cut out. And I'm thinking now that I should. Okie dokie. Yes, I do like that there. Okay. So we'll put the little mushroom guy there. Oops. And I do like that purple there. So I think we'll keep that. Kind of make that look a little more finished there as well. So, okay. All right, so that's done. I'm going to do the rest, the other three off camera, and I'll be back and we'll show you the next steps. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, and I went ahead and did the fronts and backs um, of the other three and I did the little inside, inside picture as well. Um, 
and I started decorating the outside and I thought, you know what, let me get back on camera and I'll decorate the other two with you because that's kind of the fun part, isn't it? I just, I just love the decorations. Sometimes the, the cutting and the measuring gets kind of tedious for me, but the decorating now, now we're talking. So I just noticed there's a little bit, could use a little bit more glue right here. Um, so <clears throat> I'm going to decorate the outside of these two real quick with you. Um, let's see, I kind of had an idea going. I don't want to do too much more to this one because there's all the cute little elements already there. I may just stick that pine cone there. Um, and then I kind of, this little circle, all of these pieces um, are in the kit. So I, there's lots of choices. I think I may, I think I may do that. <clears throat> Keep it a little bit more simple, but of course I'm kind of uh, digging the, the green cheese cloth on here. So I think I'm gonna do that to all of them because it doesn't add very much thickness, but it adds so much character. So, let me do that real quick. <clears throat> kind of like that, I believe. I was getting worried. I thought, oh no, this is getting empty. And then I realized <laughs> I bought, there was a, a, a sale on Art Glitter Glue on Amazon. Mm, maybe a couple months ago now. And um, I got a big old bottle of it. <laughs> so I'm really, I just, I was worried for a minute there, but I'm, I'm relieved now because uh, there's more where that came from. And I've got plenty. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm just going to keep that one simple. Like that. And then this one... Do I want to keep with the, of course I do. Yes, I do. Keep with that green cheesecloth theme. Sometimes the more, more you rough it up, the better it looks. <clears throat> All right. Yes, I like it. I like it. This way I kind of have the cheesecloth almost on. Um, I think I have kind of an all in all phases of the envelopes for the different the different uh, looks. <clears throat> Covered all my bases, it looks like. So I've got some cheesecloth there, I've got some cheesecloth there. Some cheesecloth there and some cheesecloth there. See, I love it. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, let me make sure these are glued down nicely. Okay, so now to put them all together, um, you can just decide which um, which way you want how you want to arrange it. Um, I believe this one, I, I, I was going to do this one first anyway, because it has, this flap is larger. So we're going to stack them, not separately, but all together so that all the flaps are stacked, right? Okay. And then make sure they all bend down nicely. What I'm going to do is take my teeny tiny Tim Holt stapler and we're just going to staple the flaps together. Make sure everything is square. And I'm just going to staple all four of them together out in the middle. And then again here. Okay. Now, <clears throat> You don't really have to do much to cover it up because they're so stinking cute. But I like lace. I like it a lot. So I'm going to use. Oh, I already have one open. Okay. 
Oh my goodness. My craft room is overrun with stink bugs. It is so disgusting. I don't know if you just heard that one fly by. <laughs> this sounds like a helicopter. Oh my gosh, it's ridiculous. So I'm going to just cover that with lace, right? But first, first, I am going to, I'm going to glue this down, right? Um, and I'm going to use the big strong, my big strong glue because it's, it's a lot. That's a lot and you want it to really, I want it to stick nicely. Oops, getting messy. Needs to have a good, a good stick to it. So just hold that for a minute. <clears> Hiya. <throat> Hey, yeah. <laughs> okay. Huh. It's kind of wanting to. All the different flaps aren't staying down like I expect them to. So I think I'm going to use this. The bottom one is good and sturdy now with that glue. But the others, I'm going to give them just a little bit of a. A little bit of a hand, a little bit of a hint to stay in your assigned seats, please. Hold that for just a minute. Okay, I think that's that's good. And then I'm going to I'm actually going to go. And this didn't line up as much as as nicely as I wanted to, so I'm just going to use the the lace to camouflage that as well. I love being able to camouflage things. That's the beauty of crafting, isn't it? And just art. If something doesn't work out, you can pretty much maneuver things so that you can cover up little boo-boos. I think I want to get a little more here. <clears throat> okay. All right, let me, well, let me see. I can never decide which way I think is the right side up and the wrong side up. <laughs> I think this is the back. We're gonna go with it. Okay. Let me put it where it'll cover up the staples a little bit and also cover up that edge that's not quite straight. Okay. Trim. Okay, glue this down. And glue this down. Maybe that down too, just the corners. <clears throat> that corner too. I love how quick art glue, art glitter glue dries. Usually. <laughs> Usually it's helpful. Sometimes I'm like, oh no, it's too fast. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so now look at what we have here. This cute little Thing. Okay, but that's, but wait, we're not done yet. Now we get to fill it. 
with fun things. So, um, since I have so many fussy cuts, put that away, um, I'm going to fill these pockets with fun fussy cuts. The pumpkins and the animals are going to go in here. <clears throat> well, I say that. <laughs> All right, so, and then the fun thing about this too is that you can see, oh, I've got fun stuff in the, and through the window, you've got fun stuff. Okay, and then what I'm going to do with this, I'm actually going to make a bookmark out of this. Let me, oops, where is my punch? Oh, there we go. I'm going to make a little bookmark out of this. And get, let me see. Do just a, a short little, short little thingy, short little thingy here. Okay. There we have it. And that is going to, I'm gonna slide that one in here. This is also a belly band that comes in the kit, but there's no, nothing saying you can't use it as a bookmark. And I'm gonna put some more of these cute little cards. I just love that old vintage acorn and this cute little squirrel and fairy. Oh my goodness, so cute. I love finding all of these vintage images to mix along with these beautiful watercolor pieces that uh, some of these artists that I've found are just phenomenal. <clears throat> okay, so we've got some there, we've got some there. What are we going to put in here? Oh, you know what? Yes, I have some tea. Nice little tea bags. And my phone is ringing and it's spam. <laughs> okay, got that taken care of. All right, and this, the tea will go in here. And I just saw that this needs a little more glue. Didn't quite get enough on there. Okay. All right, so we've got little gifts in here, little gifts in here, little gift in here. And I guess we'll just put some more fussy cuts and tags in here, maybe. Got a bunch of mushrooms, uh, not mushrooms, pumpkins. <clears throat> Cute little mason jar with the lightning bug in there. Cute little tag. So I'll just do yeah. Put them in there. Okay. I mean, I could stuff it for even further with all this stuff, but I think I'll leave it as is for now. So there it is. A cute little uh, altered window envelope for gifts. You can put your fall gifts in there. What a fun little... Um, just a fun little fall surprise, you know, decorate the back a little bit. And of course, with the papers that um, I used, <clears throat> you can just flip through here. And actually, on this one, I could write some notes. But um, every everywhere you turn, it's just loveliness. It's just so cute. And you got rid of your yucky uh, window envelopes that your bills are supposed to go into. Boo! <laughs> Isn't this a much better use of these? <laughs> I think so. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun um, making this with the Autumn Woods uh, kit, which is the design team's um, assignment for October. So I was happy to jump in and uh, 
come up with this to add to the the lovely collection of my other design team members of what they made. And I will have a link below to all of their information. If you would uh, kindly subscribe to their channels and check out their videos and uh, what they did with this Autumn Woods kit, uh, we would all appreciate that very much. All right. And I will also um, have a link I'm offering 25% um, off of this kit uh, through the end of November. So you are welcome to go grab that and uh, while it's still available and just have fun with it. I would love to see what you guys uh, come up with with this kit. So you guys have a lovely rest of your day. It is a beautiful fall day here in Tennessee and I'm going to go enjoy it a little bit. All right, you guys have a lovely day. Bye. Oh,